Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news. For those who subscribe, we want to say a big thank you to every one of you. We say God bless you. And if you're here to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Southwest Group begins agitation for Yoruba Odoa Nation. Yoruba Group has said it is time for Yorubas to create their own Odu Odoa Republic Group. Stated that this is not the first time they have called for Hodua Republic, but today this demand has become even more crucial than any other thing. The coalition includes the Hodua People's Congress OPC, Hodua Liberation Movement OLM, Hodua Republic Coalition ORC, Yoruba Revolutionary Congress YORC, Hodua Muslim Christian Dialogue Group OMDG, Yoruba Student Nationalist Front. YOSNF, Odua Hunter Union, OHUN, and 11 other groups. The group says we advise them to begin to make alternative plans for the inevitable upheaval being promoted by the Fulani oligarchies. The North has always been the aggressor because of the region's loss of people and the horn hiding desire to make Nigeria the irreversible extension of the Fulani Emirates. What we see is violent conflict of civilizations, which can only be resolved when each region go their own way. In the bid to keep Nigeria as one Niger as one country, millions of people have been killed and the lives of children wasted. Make the historic declaration that Yoruba people are ready for our own Oduduwa Republic. We have watched even this past days. The cloud is getting thicker. The poisonous rain appears re ready to fall. It is time for the Yoruba people to be ready to defend our homeland from being seized by local imperial elements and their collaborators. We assert Yoruba self-determination and sovereignty. We shall work for it and we will actualize it. Wow, this is a very good development and a very great development from the South West Group. And now they begin agitation for Yoruba nation. This is what we are talking about. Yoruba is now coming up. Yoruba people, Yoruba leaders are now coming back to their senses. They are now making sense now. And now the Yorubas are talking. This is what we want from them. And nothing stops a willing mind from setting the body free. Because now, the pride and arrogance of the Fulanese has gotten out of control now. I believe by now, by the time they hear all these things, they will calm down. Their brain will, will, will calm down seriously. I love this, my people. Seriously, I love this. This, the agitation, I love it. This is a very great development in Yoruba land right now. This is a very great one. The Southwest these days, they are really doing a great job. Trust me. Because now, these so-called Fulani, they will come back, come back to their senses. They will know that they are not the only people ruling Nigeria. And the Southerners are behaving like chicken beaten by rain. Just because of fear. Because they fear these people. You know? The thing is that if we don't fight to regain our ancestral homeland, we will be putting our future generation in great dangers. And that is the true fact about it. Because these people have straddled on the entire nation with impunity and disdain. They want to govern this country. I mean the, the northerners. They always want to be in charge. Look at the Fulani headsmen. Look at all these things that they are doing everywhere. Trust me, kudos to the Southwest leaders right now. Kudos to them. We love what they do, my people. We all love what they do. This is a very great development in Yoruba land. And this is the time to say enough is enough. 
there's a time to say enough is enough. Trust me, I love what those people do. I love it. It's a very great development. And now somebody made a comment and said, with the Biafrans there, and now Odudua's, it is clear that no one has faith in this thing called Nigeria anymore. People are tired, my people. I can't lie to you. A lot of people are tired. People are ready to disintegrate. People are ready to divide. With the look of things, it tells you that even the Yoruba people, if they said division today, they are ready to divide. Because we are all seeing everything that is going on in our government right now. We are seeing it. And this person said that this is what Ojuku saw many years ago. But you people betrayed him. Now your eyes are open. But it is too late. My people, I don't think it is too late right now. They can still re-amend the things that has been destroyed. They can still re-amend it. Trust me, they can re-amend it. There's still a solution. There's still a big solution right now. And they said that now Yoruba want to go. Why you people blame Igbos for their agitation of Biafran? Is it now you wake up from sleeping? Now the Yorubas are waking up from their slumber. Trust me, the Yorubas are waking up with this good and a great development. Yorubas are waking up. They said, go ahead. God is already with you all. It is already in your head if you will not give up. God has granted to the Yorubas. They should go ahead. God will be with them. It's a very good thing. Trust me. It's a very good, great development. They say, United States of Odudua, USO, let Almighty God actualize it for us before ending to this year of 2022. 20. Amen. Either Fulanisa, they are lifeless predators, like it, like it or not. USO, we come to stand this time around. I love it that they started with uh, Amoteko. And now, they are increasing and they are developing. They are coming back to their senses gradually. They are coming back to their senses gradually. And this is good. God bless you, all the doer people. God bless your Southwest. God bless you, Pierre France. God bless you, the leaders in Yoruba land. Because you people are doing a great job. This is what we want in our land. And they said that this your declaration is not good for the North. Obviously, we don't we don't even want them want it to be good for the North. Because they too they are doing their own thing. They are maneuvering their own thing. And right, right now, they are exit strategy and this person said and mind you the new nigeria will break after this administration and the south will want a piece of them in the new administration hence the position themselves and put their people at the top and divert the nation's resources you know they said the yorubas how i wish you saw this in 1966 but as they say in our local Palance at all at all nahim pass now so my people at all at all nahim pass so please they don't start some, something now the yoruba people don't start something and we know saying a good thing entirely say they don't start good things our, our prayer now be say god should guide them may god continue to guide them now our prayer for them they should not fear god is already on their side they should keep moving they should keep moving every time Trust me, God is already on their side by God's grace. God will direct them, including the Biafrans, including the Southwest agitation. God will direct every one of them because all those people are working for their rights. They are fighting for what belongs to them. The Northerners has turned the Southwest into slavery before now. They have turned them into slavery before now. And now, thank God, that these people are coming back to their senses, saying that we are tired of all this nonsense that the Nigeria government are doing. Saying that, at least, let's wake up from our slumber. This is the time for us to keep going. 
Thank God that it is not, I believe it is not too late for Yoruba people. Trust me. It is not too late. And God will continue to keep directing them. And they said the pillars that hold Nigerian project is the Yorubas. The power behind the Harewa nation is the Yorubas. All these are gone for good. We have to make solid provisions for eventualities. Hmm. My people, what do you think? What is your own take about this new development that the Yoruba and the Southwest leaders are bringing up? Agitation for Yoruba nation. What is your own opinion? Kindly drop your comments below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a big thank you to every one of you. We appreciate you for subscribing. We say God bless you. Thank you so much. And have a blessed weekend.